But I'm convinced Britain can find a way to take squatting into our hearts. So we sent second opinion's in-house GP, Dr Ahmed Kazmi, to try and sell it to the unsuspecting shoppers of South London. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be posing as an undercover salesperson in this showroom where we've installed a squat toilet. <laughs> right, let's sell some squat toilets. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. You okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. How are you doing? Very well, very well. Good are stuff. you looking for anything in particular? Um, Holy bathroom, to be honest. Ah, OK. So, um, I'll just show you something a little bit novel. It's the most popular toilet uh, model worldwide. And yeah. it's definitely compact. So it's um, the traditional squat toilet. Have you ever used one? <laughs> so there's loads of health benefits, actually. It um, reduces the risk of hemorrhoids, of piles, um, diverticulitis. Because of the hip flexion, yeah. it pulls the, um, the anorectal junction into a much more favourable position for opening yeah. your bowels. So you need to apply less strain, which is why it helps with diverticulitis and with yeah. hemorrhoids. Um, yeah. It's good for your joints too. A Japanese study showed that because of the hip flexion, it pulls the anorectal canal into the correct position, so you don't have to strain to pass the motion. Right. An Israeli study showed that it halves your pooping time. So everyone could benefit from that. It makes it less than one minute that you'd spend on the toilet. Have you ever tried one, like, on holiday or...? Yeah, I hate them. They tend to get splashes in your feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. That's a technique thing, though. Yeah. Do you know, actually, the majority of the world poops like this? <laughs> Is it something you'd ever consider? I don't think so. Do you want to have a quick go, just no. to see how it feels? I'm right with that. Oh, just try it. Go on. It's only 150 pounds. Okay. Is this something you might consider? Zan, I really tried my hardest, but I'm afraid I wasn't able to sell any squat toilets. My diagnosis is that England is not ready yet, but I'm taking one home myself. Dr. Ahmed there with no sales, thus guaranteeing himself a place on the next series of The Apprentice. <laughs>